Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning, wherever you are around the world. Uh, let me tell you, this is Ernesto Verdugo, and I am very, very happy to welcome you to this great webinar, which is entitled The 12 Pieces of the Internet Puzzle. This is a webinar that you are going to love because the content is very, very valuable. You're going to be taking lots of notes and you're going to be learning quite a lot. So please stay till the end of the, of the webinar because, of course, the information is going to absolutely blow your mind. So first of all, let me get started very quickly by saying hello to all my friends from uh, different nationalities which are right now um, on the uh, uh, webinar. I am seeing here and we have people from India, we have people from uh, uh, the United Arab Emirates, we have people from Kuwait, we have people from Qatar, we have people so from Saudi Arabia, we have people from, from Germany, we have people from the Netherlands, we have people from Spain, we have people from Norway, we have people from uh, the UK, we have people from the US, we have people from Canada, we have people from Mexico, uh, we have people from uh, South uh, Africa also. Very good. Excellent. We have also people from South Korea. <laughs> I was just reading South uh, here. So I just saw uh, we have people from many, many different nationalities. So I think it's just absolutely great to welcome you all. And now also I would like to say uh, welcome to all our guests. On this webinar, we have two kinds of people. People which are already part of the Online Apprentice and people which are not yet part of the Online Apprentice. Now, for those of you that are already part of the Online Apprentice, I would like to welcome you because this is going to be uh, the first time that we're going to be getting together. And also, if you're not part of the uh, online apprentice, don't worry about it. The information that I'm going to be sharing with you is going to absolutely blow your mind. This is going to be the one and only time that we're going to be getting people which are in the online apprentice and people that have never been in the online apprentice uh, uh, together. Because, of course, I want you guys which are not in the program yet to figure out exactly what is uh, uh, what we're doing to make the internet really work for you and how you can actually leverage from the internet. Now, let me tell you the reason why I am actually doing these programs is because I know and I understand that um, uh, I understand that many people would like to have results on the internet. However, they get very frustrated because, of course, they are seeing people which are uh, doubling their business through the internet, but they have no clue how to do it. I mean, there's people that would really have great ideas and would like to leverage the, the power of the internet, but they have no clue how to do it. And they get very, very frustrated. And not only that, they also get very, very disappointed because even though they have invested a lot of time, a lot of effort, and they have been doing social media here and paperclip here, and uh, 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 they have been doing SEO here with their websites or whatever, they are getting very disappointed because they are not getting the results that they would like. Therefore, uh, what I want to provide to you on this webinar is going to be a success blueprint for you to have success on the internet. Therefore, that's why I'm telling you, please make sure to just forget about doing anything else because what I have to share with you is very, very important and very, very uh, interesting and I'm sure that you're going to benefit tremendously from it. So please make sure to take notes, make sure to, to uh, shut up uh, the uh, whatever is happening there, the radio, the television, uh, uh, the whatever it is, and make sure that you concentrate on this because it's going to be amazing. Now, let's just get started very quickly. And I will tell you, uh, this is exactly the real secret of success on the internet. You see, what happens is that most of the people would like to start implementing tactics. So they learn this tactic on Facebook, they learn this tactic on, on uh, uh, Twitter, they, le they learn this tactic to do on their website, on their PPC, uh, pay-per-click what they are doing in their, in their uh, to generate traffic. However, they, also, they do all these tactics completely isolated, like, like if they will be an island. But they do not have a vision, they do not have a strategy. So it doesn't matter how many tactics you try to implement, if you don't have a correct vision and if you don't have a correct strategy, let me tell you what's going to happen. You are going to fail. So let me ask you a question. Would you be interested in figuring out how to have the right vision? So basically knowing exactly where you're going and also having the right strategy. Would that be a good idea for you? I'm getting all these people telling me yes. Well, that's great because this is exactly what we are going to be uh, doing right now. So let me just also share with you that what happens in most uh, uh, programs that you will go 
to learn about the internet, what they will do is they will dangle the carrot for you. So they will say, well, you know, you will be able to get this amount of, uh, uh, you will be able to get this amount of sales. You will be able to get all this traffic. You will be able to get all this attention in social media. So they dangle the carrot and they dangle the carrot. And there you go, really, really like hypnotized, trying to capture the carrot, but they never tell you how to grab the carrot. So they're just dangling the carrot in front of you. And there you go, trying to catch it, try, trying to catch it, trying to catch it. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this program is I'm going to be teaching you how to grab the carrot. Now, grabbing the carrot and dangling the carrot in front of you is a complete different story. Now, let me ask you, what do you, what would you like to have? Someone dangling the carrot in front of you or somebody actually te teaching you how to grab the carrot? Now I'm seeing here on the uh, form here, people are telling me I would like to know how to grab the carrot, of course. Great, perfect. So in that case, this is exactly what we're going to be doing. But I'm going to take it even one step further. What I'm going to be showing you is how to profit from grabbing the carrot. Because of course, you can grab the carrot, but if you do not know how to implement all what you have grabbed, uh, from the carrot, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to make sense out of it. So let me ask you a question. Are you ready to find out exactly how things are going to work on the internet for you to take your business or your idea into the next level? I'm getting all these yeses, yeses. So it is fantastic. I am very, very happy and very proud that you're going to be doing this. Now, let's first of all talk about the challenge. Let me talk about the problem. In my eyes, there's an internet educational pro uh, problem. There's a ton of different people which are offering you uh, all sorts of uh, uh, ideas which on how to make money online, uh, press, uh, uh, press button, uh, push button, make money online, make money online, make money on the internet, free tips, uh, make money while you sleep and all these kind of things that you will be able to, to immediately do something and after, after reading that book, you will be start already making money. Now, very honestly, ask yourself, is this, if this would be true, do you think that, uh, um, do you think that, I mean, not everybody will be doing this? Of course it will. But of course, it's a lot more complicated than that. Now, I am not saying that some of the things that are out there that by some uh, uh, quote unquote gurus is not working. In fact, I have actually purchased a number of products and I have purchased a number of different educational products about the Internet and they do work. I have also been burned and purchased something which is, of course, not working. I have, I mean, sometimes their marketing is so good that you end up buying their stuff. But that's not the point. Once again, as I was telling you, most of these, uh, most of these programs which are available for you, all they teach you are uh, tactics. While in reality, what you need to have is a clear vision exactly to know where you're going and a very, uh, a very, very good strategy. Now, if you have the vision, the strategy, then of course, all these tactics would be working for you perfectly well. So this is exactly what I'm going to be telling you. Now, do you, do you think that this is going to be important? Do you think that this is going to be interesting? I'm getting all this. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. So let's just continue. Now, very important. There's two things that are, have to be delivered every single time when you're actually learning something. First of all, one is content and the other one is context. Now, in most of the cases, whenever you're going to be educated, what they do is they provide you with a ton of content. I have seen it. I mean, people go to seminars and uh, they go to seminars, they make great presentations. And then after they make great presentations, they tell them, well, you know, you should be buying this product because, of course, after this product, you will be able to uh, accomplish this and this and that. Now, now, what happens is that suddenly they will produce a ton of content. I mean, I have seen it personally that they will come in big boxes with the DVDs and they will come with the big manuals and all these things. Or now, right now, of course, they have the digital version where you buy this thing and then you have to go there and see all this information. But then what happens is they are only providing content with you. Now, they're providing content, which is content, and also they are providing uh, the the uh, tactics. So content and tactics. If your mind keeps on uh, narrow and they do not, they it doesn't expand. What's going to happen is it's going to be uh, full uh, very very quickly, and you're going to be very very much frustrated. Now, what I want to provide to you is the context. So not only the context, but also the content. I will be, I will continue providing the content for you so that you will understand everything, but put it into perspective. But what I'm going to try to do is expand your horizon so that you will be able to actually be able to put a lot more and also be able to implement a lot more. Now, 
I am very, very, very much aware that people get stuck very, very easily whenever they are learning stuff on the internet. And this is one of the pro this is one of the problems. I mean, you buy one of these products uh, that is supposed to be helping you in order for you to grow uh, your business on the internet. And once again, they provide you all the content, but there's nobody which is actually taking you by the hand. Now, what happens is that, for example, yes, you have the possibilities of asking questions or you have the weekly uh, telephone call or you have, uh, you know, a little bit of interaction. And in most cases, you don't have access to the quote unquote guru, which actually sold you that product. So I, I started thinking, you know what, things uh, have to change uh, with the way that people are actually learning how to grow an online business. Therefore, I started really thinking and thinking and thinking. And then suddenly I got a great idea. And then after I, I actually got this idea, I started thinking, well, I think this would be the ideal way of actually teaching people how to run and profit from a successful online business. Now, you're going to think this is a bit weird. But as you say, possibly uh, 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 most of the ideas come from the weirdest places. I mean, I do not know if it has ever happened to you, uh, but possibly you're taking a shower and then suddenly you have an idea or possibly you're somewhere else and you have an idea. Well, let me tell you, I have been a big, big fan of reality shows for a long time. The first uh, show that I saw, it was Survivor and I thought it was just brilliant. Then another show that I really used to love was Amazing Race. And then, of course, I mean, there were a lot of crap uh, um, reality shows like for example the one with paris hilton and the one with with the uh, uh whatever i mean the 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 uh, uh there were other ones that i didn't really like uh however anyway i i think it's just absolutely amazing the fact that all these things can happen i mean all the drama all the things that were happening there so now let me tell you a little bit about my idea how everything went now the idea of a reality show mind you it is not a, a, a new idea. It is something that has already been existing already from the 1800s. In the year 1800, uh, 1830 or 1840, whenever it was, George Bernard Shaw wrote a book that was called Pygmalion. And in what, 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 what it was, it was uh, these two guys, one of them were, pro the, both of them were professors and they were very educated people. And then they made a bet with each other and they said, well, I can bet you that I will be able to take a lady from the street that has absolutely no, uh, no education, has absolutely no manners. And in a matter of two weeks, I will be transforming her into a lady. And this is exactly what he does. Now, this book later on became a film that was with uh, Audrey Hepburn and Rex Harrison. And this was My Fair Lady, which is the same thing. Eliza Doolittle, which is uh, the lady that was, first of all, in the street. And then uh, uh, this other guy, which completely transformed her into a lady. Now, the, the, the latest version of that was Pretty Woman, where, of course, I mean, this was a, a, a lady that was working in the street uh, without saying exactly what she was doing. But, of course, you know what she was doing. And then this guy, Richard Gere, that completely transformed her into a lady therefore this transformation has actually been the basis of the reality shows and I find that very very interesting now these were just my my thoughts I mean this will be very very interesting but everything really met and was put into perspective one day that I had the, the opportunity to share the stage with Christy Frank uh, Christy Frank was the, one of the very first uh, um, uh, competitors to be on the uh, apprentice from Donald Trump. You're there you can see actually her, her picture. And Christy, uh, after I presented, she was actually following me on the on the stage, and then she was uh, doing her presentation, and she was saying how much the apprentice have meant into her life. I mean, her her uh, business has changed tremendously. Uh, her personality has changed tremendously. Her appearance has changed tremendously, and of course, it, it was it, it was just incredible. So I had the opportunity to talk to her. And she told me that this is one of the most powerful transformations that she has ever experienced. Therefore, this is where my idea comes through. I said, well, what about if you will actually put together the uh, drama that you will put together, the competitiveness, you put together the peer pressure, you put together the very strong feedback of a reality show like they do, for example, in the X Factor in American Idol, that you will see that they're very, very harsh with the competitors. But of course, I mean, they are making them a lot better. And then you combine that with coaching. And this is exactly what I have done. 
Now, I have seen the tremendous transformation and unreal transformation on these kind of shows. Let me give you two examples. First of all, you are possibly seeing here uh, Paul Potts. Paul Potts is the guy that uh, was a, a uh, telephone salesman in Wales and then suddenly became a big opera singer and then afterwards he was with Oprah. Now, also the same thing happened to Susan Boyle. These are two of the most watched videos on YouTube and you have seen that there has been a tremendous transformation. These guys, they had a lot of talent. Right? They didn't really believe too much in themselves. They didn't really know exactly how things should be done. But then, of course, they got together with a number of people that helped them grow. And that now, of course, they are international figures. So now this was my chance to say, well, you know what? It's time to actually put together a coaching program that will work also like a reality show. So what I did is last year, I created a program that was called From Zero to Hero, and I got 35 people. And of course, the transformation was, was very, very, very big. Now, what happened is on these people, I, I tried to choose actually the people that I thought that I would be able to help. Therefore, I actually uh, got business people, which uh, they had already a business and they were, of course, wanting to, to, uh, to take their business into the Internet and transform uh, their business. Then I also found uh, uh, bigger companies. I mean, some of them. Uh, quite big companies that, of course, wanted to grow their, uh, their, their business by using the Internet. I also got people that had ideas but had no clue how to implement their ideas. And I also got people that were actually searching on how to do, uh, how to do stuff. And, of course, I mean, those I thought were the best people that, uh, that will fit into this, um, uh, into this program. So now let me ask you a question. If you are watching this program, very likely or more likely you will fit into one of these categories so if you fit into one of these categories i think what i'm just about to tell tell you is going to really revolutionize the way that you see things now very important what i did is after i actually did that what happened was that i experienced a 65 percent uh, success rate which is just absolutely astonishing for an online uh, 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 teaching pro uh, program because normally what happens is I mean if people have 10% 15% success that's already quite a lot but now on the first time that we were running this we had 65% and the reason why that happened was because I didn't really uh, 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 really uh, I mean I was just trying to fill up the the, the, uh, the group with anyone but this time what I did is I'm going to change something and I'm actually going to create a group which is going to have 90% results and let me tell you what I have done that was different than the previous time now I said to myself okay if we are supposed to be putting a, a reality show together what I need to do is I need to actually do a, a casting call so I was just not accepting anyone because of course uh, I mean, if I just accept anyone, of course, I do not know if it's going if they're going to be successful or not. So what I did is I handpicked each and every one of the people which are right now on the program. And right now I can easily say that the success rate is going to go from 65 percent to 90 percent. So if you had never seen how everything was working, I have already given you a, uh, a, gl a, gl a glimpse of what the online apprentice is all about. So I would like to welcome you to episode zero, which is called Ready for Takeoff, which is going to be the first episode of the online apprentice. And I hope that you are going to really, really enjoy it. So it doesn't matter if you are part of the online apprentice or if you are not part of the online apprentice yet. This is going to be episode zero, and I think you're going to really appreciate and you are going to really be uh, very excited about, uh, about what I'm going to be sharing with you. Now, uh, for those of you that are already in the program, this is going to be speaking uh, straight to you. For those of you that are not yet in the program, one I think which is going to be very important, you're going to understand exactly what this is all about. So the ultimate goal of this project is to take a number of individuals that, from having no success on the Internet to knowing exactly how to run and profit from a successful online business. As it is exactly what I will be doing on the Online Apprentice. Now, the entire Online Apprentice it is about understanding uh, Web 3.0 and not only understanding uh, Web 3.0, but it is about mastering Web 3.0. So if you have no clue what Web 3.0 is all about, let me just quickly explain to you what this is all about. First of all, in Web 1.0, uh, it was only the time that people were actually just creating websites. There was a producer and there was a consumer. 
right? They were they were just websites that were static, and you will just put together a website and then some in the hopes that somebody was going to read the information and possibly buy your stuff, right? That was Web 1.0. That happened more or less from the uh, mid 1990s to the year about. Uh, 1999, 2000 or something like that, 2002, 2003, I do not know exactly. Then afterwards, we turned into Web 2.0, and Web 2.0 was when we started having a little bit of interaction uh, with websites like High Five and MySpace, and uh, then afterwards uh, came Twitter and other, uh, and other uh, different websites. These were um, uh, the times of social media. I mean, in fact, Web 2.0 was so powerful that in the year 2008, uh, the, uh, uh, an African American uh, president actually won the elections on the uh, to get into the White House. So of course, obviously, this worked out very, very well. However, things kept on improving, and right now we came into the semantic web. People ask me, what is the semantic web? Well, fact is, the semantic web is actually the web that requires meaning. Right now, for example, if you will uh, look for for uh, for if you will search something in Google with uh, a, a typo or something that is incorrectly written what happens is in the past you will get no results but right now if you type something with a typo it will actually it automatically detect all these different things that you have uh, on the internet and it will actually be interpreting the meaning so that's one of the important things of the semantic web but actually the most important thing on web 3.0 or the semantic web is not going to be only the meaning but it's also going to be the fact that the web is actually absolutely everywhere therefore you will be able to uh, you will be able to to access the internet everywhere if you think about it previously you had to access the internet whether at home or uh, in the office when you were plugged into a cable. Right now, you could be with your tablet, you could be with your uh, mobile phone, and you have access to the internet. Therefore, it is very, very important to, for you to understand that whatever you know about the, uh, about the internet, it's about to change because we are right now on the semantic web or web 3.0. Now, let me ask you, are you with me? Are you following me these ideas? Because this is exactly what I'm telling you. If you get to understand what I am just about to share with you, your life and your business is about to change. So are you with me? Are you understanding? Do you understand what Web 3.0 is all about? Yes, yes, yes. With you. Crystal clear. Perfect. Fantastic. Okay, so let's move on. Now, first of all, the first thing that I want to make sure is that I help you grow your internet footprint. Your internet footprint is absolutely critical. Right now, for example, if you Google your name and there's uh, 25 results, obviously you have a very, very small footprint. You need to have a very, very big footprint because of course you become your content in Web 3.0 and the more uh, results that there are there uh, on, on Google talking about you, obviously you are going to become a lot more influent on the in, uh, influential on the internet. So, for example, we can see here Barack Obama has uh, two, 277 million results. Oprah Winfrey has 39.8 million. If you will actually search for my name, there's 973 million. This, uh, this, actually, this presentation varies depending on where you are. But I mean, for example, in some countries, I have up to 1.6 1, 1. million, or in some countries, I have 973. So it depends on which version of Google you're actually Googling this. But I have, uh, in most cases, over a million results. So I have a strong footprint. That, of course, talks very, very good about me. I mean, I am basically showing to whoever wants to be my customer that I am the real deal, that I am just not somebody which is just, you know, coming out of the blue. Now, look at the results of Domitila Nomestuni, which is the lady that actually cleans my house and uh, what happens is that she has absolutely no footprint on the internet so one of the things that I'm going to ask you to do is make sure that you go and google your name and try to find out what at this very moment is your footprint right now because guess what by the end of the program I will be able to uh, show you how you're going to multiply your uh, uh, google footprint Therefore, I, that's actually the first piece of soft, uh, the, the first piece of homework that I want to actually ask for you. What I want you to get is something that is called digital omnipresence. That means that you're going to be absolutely everywhere. So now the next question is: Would you like to have internet omnipresence? Yes, yes, yes. I see all the yeses coming here. I see all the yeses. Okay, so get ready because you're going to learn this and you're absolutely going to love it. So let's just get started. So first of all, 
The first thing that I want to share with you is something that you need to master and you need to understand. Here we are seeing two different uh, hamburger places. One of them is called McDonald's. The other one is called Charlie's Hamburger Joint. Charlie's is my absolutely favorite uh, um, a restaurant in Houston, and I really like going there. They have fantastic hamburgers, which I have a very, uh, a very juicy patty with a very nice tomato and uh, an avocado and uh, and uh, jalapeno peppers and whatever. They're fantastic. The hamburger is about ten dollars, and they take about fifteen minutes before they have it prepared, and it's just absolutely great. Now, these guys have only one single outlet, and that is somewhere downtown Houston. Now, very important, McDonald's has really crappy hamburgers, at least from my point of view. Possibly you might like them, but of course, I mean, they're not the best hamburgers that I know. However, they are all over the world. And guess what? You could be in Sydney, you could be in Bangkok, you could be in Dubai, you could be in Mexico City, and the hamburgers in McDonald's are going to be always consistent and always exactly the same, right? So now what's the difference between Charlie's and McDonald's? First of all, Charlie's has not grown that big because of course they do not have a system. The magic of McDonald's is that they have a system and their system grows exactly the same everywhere. Therefore, they have been able to grow their business exponentially. And this is very, very important. Why? Because of course, People want to be successful on the internet, but of course, they first of all, they are working with tactics, which you already know. Second, they don't have strategy. Third, they're working with Web 1.0, right? And right now we're in Web 3.0, and this actually creates uh, digital cognitive dissonance. Now, what is cognitive dissonance? Cognitive dissonance is when you say something that has a complete different meaning in your mind. For example, fighting for peace. That is called cognitive dissonance. I mean, how could you fight for peace? That just doesn't make sense, right? So people want to be successful on, 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 on the internet, implementing strategies and implementing uh, stuff that doesn't work anymore. So that's why it's very, very important that we understand that if we want to be successful, we need to have a vision, we need to have a strategy, and we need to have a, vi a, a system that will actually help us grow our blueprint in order for us to have successful success on the internet. So. Big, big thing that uh, that affects everybody. So but before we do that, let me just uh, take a, a water drinking pause and let me just ask you, are you finding this information interesting? Everybody's saying yes, yes, yes. Fantastic information. Fantastic. Very, very good. Very good. Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Okay, so let's just continue. Now that I have taken a little bit of water so that I can continue talking, let me just tell you about the internet literacy problem. And uh, here's the deal. What happens is that in reality, the internet is not only one thing that you can just uh, say, well, you know, I'm going to be successful on the internet. There's a number of things that you need to understand in order for you to be successful on the internet. You need to understand uh, uh, traffic, you need to understand uh, social media, you need to understand graphic design, you need to understand uh, email marketing. There's, so there's a number of different pieces of what I call the internet marketing puzzle. What happens is people say, well, I'm going to try to be successful on the internet and they try to master social media. But of course they master social media, but they have absolutely no clue about uh, uh, email marketing or they have no clue about uh, web design or they have no clue about copywriting. Therefore, obviously, their tactics, no matter how they do it, just do not work. So what happens is they, they, they suddenly hire someone and they say, well, you know, I can help you with the Internet. So they say, OK, I am learning a little bit about social media. I have my profiles. I have this and that. And they try to put pieces which do not really match uh, together with each other. And this actually it is an Internet literacy problem. People do not know that they do not know. They are unconsciously ignorant. And because, of course, they are unconsciously ignorant and they do not know that they do not know, of course, no matter what they do, they're never going to be successful. Now, if you try to see the Internet as just different pieces uh, separated, you will never be able to accomplish anything. Therefore, the most important thing is to have the full picture first. And this is once again, you have to have the vision. You need to be able to see exactly how every uh, every piece of the puzzle fits together. And this is exactly what we are going to be learning right now. So imagine that this is the Internet puzzle. So let me tell you the Internet puzzle. And this is something that I have been studying already for a number of years. I mean, this is not something that I'm just putting out here. I mean, I have talked to to a number of experts, Andrew Locke, Mike Phil, same, 
uh, I mean, a number of different friends of mine, which of course have a big name on the internet, uh, and I've been asking them, how can I actually, how can we actually get together all the uh, pieces of the puzzle so that we will be able to teach people how to be successful on the internet? And this has been already a, a, a long uh, study, so that you will see that this is something that really, really works. So. Please make sure to take notes because you're going to find this very, very interesting. So the first piece of the puzzle is going to be mindset. And this is absolutely critical. Why? Because obviously doing business on the Internet and doing business off the Internet is a complete different story. If you do not know how to do business on the Internet, uh, you will not be able to be successful because, of course, you need to write stuff in the right way. For example, one of the things that I see the most is people creating uh, quote unquote gl glorified brochures which are spoken in a very very uh, uh, corporate language obviously that's not what people want to see you need to you need to know how to write so that you will be able to communicate a message to your uh, to your customers same thing is going to happen with your videos same thing is going to happen with absolutely everything therefore the mindset of doing business on the internet is very very important the second piece of the puzzle is going to be your online infrastructure the online infrastructure is absolutely critical you need to have a properly set and everything working in a, in a perfect coordination in order for you to work now let me just explain to you what an online uh, infrastructure is first of all you need to have a website and on that website that website needs to talk about the why you are in business not about what you do, but the why you are in business. One of my favorite examples that my friend Richley Goldsboro always mentions is the fact that, uh, uh, for example, Apple, what they say in the most successful uh, product launch in history that made $1.3 billion in one, um, uh, in, in one and a half weeks, what they did is uh, in Apple, we know uh, sorry, in Apple, no, no, we know. Sorry, in Apple, we believe, and this is a very important question. In Apple, we believe that uh, a technology is better when it's in, when it's invisible. And then they start showing all these little bits and pieces of how the uh, um, the uh, the iPad works. Now they never tell you that it's many as this amount of pixels and is this this weight and all these uh, different features or benefits, whatever. They are telling you why and the belief of why they are in business and why it's important for them to do stuff. So obviously, I mean, you f if, if you have also those beliefs, which possibly are very easy for you to also have them, you are going to feel more uh, uh, connected with them. And then, of course, you would like to buy their products. Therefore, you need to have a you need to have a website where you're expressing your why. And also this why needs to be disseminated all over the place in websites like Twitter, in websites like LinkedIn, uh, Tout, which is the equivalent of Twitter, but on video, Google Plus, you need to create an about me page, which also expresses expresses your why. This is not just a, just a, a, a you have to express your why right in your about me. Then you need to have your Facebook and also it's going to be disseminating your why Pinterest, YouTube, etc, etc. Now, the moment that you have all these infrastructure working perfectly together, you are going to be a lot more effective on the internet next piece of the puzzle is going to be the online persona or for companies is going to be the branding and I think this is also very very important now the online persona you have to know how you're going to be branding yourself or also if you have a business you have to know what kind of why your brand is actually going to be communicating for people and this of course there is also a formula on how to do this next is going to be automation and outsourcing this is very important because of course you can automate up to 90 percent of the tasks that you need to automate and the things that you cannot really automate what you need to do is outsource them you need to work on your strengths and the rest you have to outsource next piece of the puzzle is going to be content creation now if you have a website that has only about five or six pages Trust me, that website you can throw to the garbage because right now websites which are doing well on the Internet are content rich websites which are full of content and which are updated on a very regular basis, if not on a daily basis. So that's why content creation is absolutely critical. Then the next piece of the puzzle is going to be multimedia marketing. Right now, if you want to make it on the Internet, you need to understand how to use video and audio to uh, to be able to. Um, uh, master the internet. The next piece of the puzzle 
is going to be email marketing. Email marketing is the best and most powerful way to follow up with your customers. I mean, if you do not know how to capture their name and email, you will not be able to follow up. Therefore, uh, the efforts that you might be doing on the internet might be getting lost or you will be also getting uh, leaving a lot of money on the table. So that's why email marketing is very, very important. Then we're going to have uh, SEM and, Z and, and SEO. One of them is search engine marketing. The other one is going to be search engine optimization. And both of them have to do with traffic generation. Traffic generation is very important because, of course, we want to keep on bringing a number of different visitors into our website on a daily basis. Then we're going to have social media, which of course is very, very important. And of course, community management. It's very stupid. Most uh, uh, people get very happy and they say, well, you know, I have about 10,000 followers. I have 10,000 likes in my page. And my question is, what's the point? Why do you want to have all these likes in your page if they are not being monetized? Therefore, you need to understand how to monetize all these uh, uh, people or likes or followers, whatever you're having on social media. Next piece of the puzzle is going to be analytics and business intelligence. Uh, my, my mentor, Tom Peters, always said, whatever gets measured can be improved. And it's also very important. I mean, if you do not know how to measure the progress that you're having with your website, guess what? You will never be able to make your website better. And of course, if you know how to read the numbers, you will be able to also analyze your competition and find out exactly how you could be uh, uh, beating them. And that is very, very important. Then the next piece of the puzzle is going to be joint ventures and affiliate marketing. Right now on the internet, it is very, very important to have good joint ventures and, of course, to operate by, uh, uh, and to sell via affiliates, which also is very, very powerful. Now, a lot of people, this is one of the pieces of the puzzle that they sort of know. And they say, well, you know, I have some affiliate links and I am trying to sell some stuff on my website with Amazon. Once again, this is a tactic. But of course, if you don't have the infrastructure, if you don't really know how to use email marketing, if you're not using multimedia marketing, of course, you're not going to be able to be successful. So as you can see, in order for you to be successful on the Internet, you need to have every single one of the pieces of the puzzle. And now the last piece of the puzzle is going to be mobile marketing. Now that we're going in Web 3.0, mobile marketing becomes even more, more important. So basically right now, for example, if you would like to actually picture how does the engine of your company looks like, very likely the engine of your company or your business looks like the one in the left. After you implement the strategies that I will be teaching you on this program, you will be able to actually make the engine of your company look like the beautiful BMW, uh, BMW which is on the right on the screen. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you find this interesting and valuable? Because I tell you, this is just information that you will not be able to get absolutely anywhere else. Is this cool? Great. I am absolutely delighted about this. So let me now tell you how we are going to be doing this. And as I was telling you, talking with the, uh, with the uh, same metaphor of the um, uh, reality show of The Apprentice, let me tell you the essence of this uh, reality show. So basically, the idea is that you're open because, of course, you have to get ready to change. And you're going to be getting ready to change. And what we are going to be doing is we are going to be giving you tough love, right? If we are going to be teaching you how to do that, bear, bear in mind that alumni remember the professors who love them enough to demand their best work. Therefore, I'm going to be really, really tough on you. I'm going to be very critical. But of course, I want to make sure that you are learning. And why do I want to do that? And this is something that I find very funny. It says, because I want you to know the difference between knowing your shit and knowing your shit. <laughs> and I think this is just very, very funny. But indeed, uh, uh, tough love and, you know, uh, strong feedback, not sugarcoating anything is something that I'm going to be doing with you and with your business in order to you uh, to grow. And how am I going to be doing this? Well, we are going to be uh, having on uh, throughout the program a number of different hot seats. Uh, uh, if you have never been uh, part of a hot seat, this is just absolutely amazing. Imagine that you don't only have me, but you have a number of different experts telling you about all the things that don't work and all the things that you should change and all the suggestions that you should actually do in order to make your website work correctly. Now, obviously, they're called hot seats because possibly you're very attached to what you have been doing on your website and you think it's great. 
but the fact is if it is not making you money or if it is not actually growing your business then your website needs to be changed and that's what we're going to be doing hot seats on a regular basis for you to actually benefit from so once again we're going to be doing hot seats on every single part of the uh, pieces of the puzzle and obviously in all the program this program lasts uh, uh, actually it is 120 days but normally it's, uh, at the beginning it was only 90 days and every week we're going to be getting together and we're going to be covering each and every one of the pieces of the puzzle that we were talking about so in week number one we're going to be talking mindset and we're going to be having a 90 minute uh, presentation you're going to an, an episode which of course is going to have also 30 minutes of q a week number two we're going to have another episode i call them episodes because of course i want to actually stick to the metaphor but in reality they are webinars right so we have going to have a 90 minute webinar plus of course a 30 minute q a call on week number three we're going to talk about online and offline persona branding week number four we're going to talk about automation and outsourcing week number five we're going to talk about content creation week number six we're going to talk about multimedia marketing week number seven we're going to talk about email marketing week number eight we're going to talk about uh, uh, search engine marketing search engine optimization basically traffic generation week number nine we're going to talk about social media social media optimization and, co uh, and community management week number 10 we're going to talk about analytics and business intelligence week number 11 about joint ventures and affiliate marketing and week number 12 about mobile marketing so as you can see every single week for 90 days we're going to be covering each and every one of the pieces of the puzzle so that you will understand exactly how everything works now this is not where uh, the magic happens actually I will be telling you where the magic happens because once again this is the content part remember what I want to show you is the context part and this is going to be the most powerful thing and of course as I was telling you how are we going to expand the context by simply thinking that this is going to be a reality show so these are going to be the rules of the reality show so first of all as I was telling you the the webinars of course are going to be very very important which are going to be called episodes not webinars and every webinar is going to be lasting about 90 minutes to two hours and then it's going to be all in content of course very very powerful and absolutely no fluff content and then we're going to have a secret facebook group now in order for you to be part of this secret facebook group uh, you will need to be uh, a, a customer you will need to be already a contestant of the show right now if you're watching this presentation and you are not part of the apprentice show obviously you cannot get access to the facebook group because you first of all need to go through an through a, a, a casting call in order for me to decide if you will be able to actually be part of it i will be telling you how you could actually be part of this uh, of this competition so please uh, uh, keep watching this presentation now very important the moment that you actually get into the uh, uh, Facebook group, what's going to happen, and this is a very, very important thing, you are going to, you're going to uh, see a few things. First of all, you cannot add people. I mean, if you add people which are not in the group, that is not allowed. I will not um, um, allow them. But the important thing is, here is where we're going to be doing the, uh, um, the hot seats. So, for example, if you want feedback on anything, you will be able to actually put it there and we will be able to give you feedback. I will be giving you feedback. The other people which are going to be also part of the faculty, we will be giving you feedback. Your other competitors are going to be also giving you feedback. Now, very important, if you can see here at the very right, just underneath uh, the picture of this guy having his two kids, uh, 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 giving him a kiss, there's a little... Uh, um, magnifying glass on this magnifying glass if you click there there's going to be a search engine for the group and there is where you're going to be able to find a lot of the information because what happens is the more that we progress uh, there's going to be a lot of information shared on the group and whenever you want to find stuff you can just click there and you're going to find quite a lot of information so the most important thing besides all the content is that we're going to have a day-to-day -day interaction on the Facebook group. And remember, you cannot be part of this Facebook group unless you are already a participant. You are already a contestant on the uh, Online Apprentice. And I will be telling you how you could be one of them because I tell you this is something very, very exciting. Now, very important. The moment that we are there, we have to remember the following. Whatever happens in Facebook stays in Facebook. 
This is our secret, uh, our secret sanctuarium where we will be able to express ourselves, we will be able to ask for advice, we will be able to share ideas, we will be able to mastermind. So just imagine that you have a, a great group, a powerful group of peers, which you have available 24-7 to ask questions, to ask for feedback, to ask for ideas, uh, uh, to share great resources. And that is exactly what we're going to be having in our Facebook group. So that's why you have to keep it secret and only it is only available for the people which are already in the online apprentice. Because in reality, bear in mind, imagine that you have a 24 seven team of people that can actually help you succeed. And this is exactly what we're going to be having on that group. So make sure that you treat that group as your sanctuary where you're going to be finding all these people which are going to be able to help you succeed. Now, very important, and these are some of the rules of the game. We're going to have red cards and yellow cards. Exactly like in football, sometimes, I mean, if you are doing something that it should not be allowed on uh, the group of Facebook, I'm going to actually give you a yellow card where I will be telling you, I will be telling you off. This is not allowed. This should not be done. But that doesn't mean that you should not be participating. I want to see you participating. Now, if you do some, uh, and I hope this is not going to happen with you guys, but if you do some stuff that is not, not correct at all, like, for example, you're going to be data, data mining, or you're going to be trying to create other subgroups, or you're going to be doing some other stuff, which is a little bit crazy, then, of course, I'm going to give you a red card. And if you get a red card, I'm going to take you out of the group temporarily. Now, bear in mind, of course, it is a, re uh, it is a, a, a show that it is like a reality show. However, I don't want... Um, uh, I don't want uh, to, to just, you know, be taking people away. So if you actually one day see yourself out of the group, you need to make sure that you contact me right away so that I know that you already acknowledge what the problem was and that you are actually admitted back in the group as soon as possible. Now, one of the things that could actually get you banned from the group immediately is if you suddenly decide to actually uh, uh, try to sell stuff on the group. The group is a no pitch zone. You're not allowed to promote absolutely any affiliate product, anything which is for sale. It's absolutely forbidden on the group. I want you to know that the moment that you join our group, you're not going to be sold into anything. You're not going to be, uh, um, uh, be told by anyone that you could buy this stuff or that you could buy that. It's going to be an absolutely zero pitch, zero promotion uh, page. So this is one of those things that can easily get you a red card. So make sure that you are not doing it. Now, another thing which is going to be very important, uh, very important on this, um, uh, on, on this part of the uh, program, it is going to be happening at one specific time. Now, uh, it is the, all the episodes are going to be happening at nine o'clock in the evening, Dubai time, which is eight o'clock uh, Bahrain time, uh, which is uh, a noon uh, central standard time in the United States, which is one o'clock um, uh, Eastern Standard Time, which is 10 o'clock in the morning Pacific Standard Time. So it doesn't matter what time it is. I don't want you to be asking all the time. So at what time is going to be the next episode? At what time is going to be the next episode? Well, for this version of the show, um, we are going to be having the episodes every Sunday at nine o'clock Dubai time, 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. Um, uh, well, it says a CE time is a CS time. It should be Central Standard Time, but very, very important. I mean, we are going to be having every time at the same time. Now, if you cannot be there, because of course, I mean, it is very understanding that you possibly cannot make it one day or the other. I mean, even though I am encouraging everybody to be there every single time, don't worry. We are going to be recording the webinars, the, the episodes. Every single episode will be recorded, and within 48 hours you will be receiving the recording and now the only thing that i ask from you is when you get the recording make sure to watch it before we get into the to the next episode because i don't want to actually have people staying behind so i want to make sure that everybody's working with me at the same specific time and and everybody's going at the same uh, uh, speed because of course if not it becomes a little bit difficult so you know now that all the episodes are going to be happening on sunday you know the time now i'm not going to be sending emails to anybody 
every single thing is going to be appearing on the Facebook group. So it is your responsibility to actually check the Facebook group so that you actually can get the link to the uh, to the page and if you uh, to the uh, to the webinar. Even if you cannot participate on the webinar, don't worry because it's going to be recorded. Now, very important. I would like you to participate as much as possible participate on the episodes. We're also going to be having masterminds where you will be able to actually work together with uh, with other people. So explore, create, learn, have fun, join in, participate as much as possible. And once again, everything is going to be happening on the Facebook group. I'm not going to be sending emails. I'm not going to be posting uh, uh, anything uh, outside. Make sure that you communicate with me via the uh, Facebook group and you also communicate with the rest of the group and make sure that you participate as much as possible. Now, very important, what I would like to also invite you to do is on this group, we have multi-talented people. I mean, there's uh, general managers from uh, different big companies. We have uh, uh, people that have a lot of business experience, people that have a lot of of, uh, experience writing books. We have all sorts of very, very interesting people in the group. Now, Besides the normal uh, um, faculty that we are having, I mean, you're actually seeing right now the cover of the uh, uh, Spanish version of the uh, online apprentice. A uh, good part of them are part of the faculty, but we also have some of the students that also became part of the faculty and they were teaching and they were very, very involved. So one of the things that I want to do is I want you to be involved in uh, putting together the masterminds and doing stuff and teaching stuff, because, of course, that is also very, very important part of the project. So now let me uh, introduce you to the faculty, to all the teachers, to all the people which are going to be working with us on these 120 days. First of all, of course, is myself. Then it's going to be Lassa Rohunian, which is uh, uh, one of the top guys on social media, video marketing, and also Facebook. You're going to really love his presentations. We're going to have also Dave Crane, which is a, a, a guy that has worked with all sorts of celebrities and how you can actually uh, expand and turbocharge your brand. Christian Varioli, which is a good friend of mine and is also an expert on uh, search engine marketing and pay-per-click marketing. You're going to love it. Richly Goldsboro, which is the master on why marketing, which is the most important thing that you need to know uh, uh, for your business so that you will be able to communicate all over the Internet. James Reynolds, which is also a good friend of mine, which is also very, very good on uh, um, uh, search engine optimization, which I think is very good. Alex K, which is another of the experts on, op- on outsourcing. Mitch Carson, which is uh, one of the experts on, on traditional marketing that you're also going to find very, very uh, interesting. Suraj Soda, which is one of the biggest experts in the UK on the topic of blogging. Raymond Aaron, which is also a celebrity that has also been, um, uh, w- which is a, an author from uh, one of the do- uh, uh, for dummies books and also for uh, chicken soup for the soul bob urichuk which is the fourth uh, best uh, uh, sales guru in the world and laura wage which is also a pinterest um, uh, expert so you're going to find uh, this this uh, 120 days very rewarding because all of them are going to be uh, participating in one way or the other with us and you're going to be learning quite a lot from them so it's going to be a very very interesting 120 days that we're going to be having together now, one thing what I'm going to be asking for you is please make sure that I cannot ignore you. My good friend, Mike Koenigs, which uh, possibly you have heard of because he's the creator of the uh, uh, Traffic Geyser platform where you can actually disseminate all your vi- video, uh, videos to all the video platforms. He says something very important. I mean, I mean, the, the reason why I mean, the, the, the best way for me to know that people are actually doing something is because I cannot ignore them. I mean, uh, if I have successful students, there's no way that I can ignore them. I, I really like this uh, this quote from uh, Love Reels. He says, if you ignore me, I'll ignore you. If you don't make an effort to start the conversation, sometimes we won't talk. If you don't put an effort, why should I? And I think this is very, very important. I mean, I'm going to be uh, putting my heart and soul into this project. So I want you also to put your heart and soul and make sure to let me know that you are going to be there. Now, having that said, I have to say the following, and this is a very, very important thing. Please respect my time and privacy. For 120 days, 120 days, you have unlimited amount of access to me. 
Therefore, I will be there taking you by the hand so that you will be able to be successful. Remember, I want to make sure that 90% of the people, I would love to have 100, but possibly some of you don't have that expectation. Therefore, I would actually be happy with 90% success are going to be having uh, success on this. And I'm going to be there holding your hand, making sure that everything is going to be happen. However, if you are sending me emails all the time, I'm going to go crazy. It will be, it will be just absolutely impossible. So the only thing that I'm going to ask you is please do not contact me on my personal email. Please do not send me Skype messages and try to connect with Skype. Some of you have my personal telephone number. Do not call me on the phone because obviously I cannot be helping you uh, like that on a personal basis. However, I can, I can help the entire group. And once in a while, yes, we will be communicating, but that, is, has, that has to be coming from me and not really from you actually demanding for me to spend time with you. Very important. Also, whenever you're doing your homework, make sure to put all the homework, all the things that I am, I am telling you that you need to be doing. Don't send them to me on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Post them on the Facebook group so that you will get feedback, not only from me, but from all the experts and all the people which are uh, participating. So this is the only thing that I'm going to be asking from you. Now, can I get a total yes from this? Because this is a very important thing. If I cannot trust you on doing this, then of course we will not be able to proceed. So can I ask you to do this for me? Yes, 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 of course, of course, very understandable. Th of course we will do that. Don't worry about it. Absolutely, it's understandable. It is, of course, you're right. Perfect, fantastic. Okay, so now I have all the yeses, so now we can move on. Now, another thing that I have to tell you is I am not technical support. I don't want you to start asking me questions. Well, you know, I do not know how to create a Facebook account. I do not know how to uh, do this on YouTube. I do not know how to do this on that. If you actually keep on doing that, I mean, you're not hiring me to be your technical support. You are hiring me to be your business and marketing coach, right? Therefore, please avoid asking me for technical support questions. Now, obviously, you are going to require them, right? So what is going to be the alternative? Well, let me tell you the big tech support, the tech support secret. I have never had someone that is uh, teaching me all the tech support, that, sorry, all the tech support things that I needed to know. So the best thing that you can do is go to YouTube and put how to create a Facebook account uh, uh, tutorial. So whatever you're looking for, just put tutorial at the end and you're going to find lots of videos which are going to be explaining you how to do whatever you want. There's thousands and thousands of different videos showing you exactly what you need. So please, first of all, make sure that if you have a question and you do not know how to do it, you go to YouTube and you try to find a tutorial. If you cannot find a tutorial there in YouTube, then afterwards place it in Facebook because obviously, I mean, there's a lot of people that will possibly also can help you in our Facebook group. And if worst case scenario, then just tell me, well, Ernesto, how can I get this? And then I will be able to help you. But please, make sure that you are going to be doing this now this is another thing that i have to ask you for agreement would you guys agree on this yes 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 okay clear clear crystal clear crystal clear yes 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 okay perfect so let's just continue now the next question that most people ask me when they are actually getting started on this is uh, is there a cost in running a profitable online operation and my answer, of course, is a good teacher. As a good teacher, I answer always a question with a question. And that is going to be, what do you think? And of course, the answer is yes. There are going to be some expenses that you're going to require in order for you to run an online uh, 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 successful business. Therefore, I have to tell you up front that yes, you're going to require uh, things like a, a hosting program, you're going to be requiring also an email marketing program, you're going to be requiring uh, to buy some domains, you're going to be requiring uh, uh, possibly to get some uh, web designers and some templates and some uh, uh, things here and there. But my promise is that the moment that you start being on this uh, uh, program, I'm not going to be trying to sell you into all sorts of things that you don't require. What you're going to do, and this is the problem, I mean, I cannot just tell you, well, this is the amount of money that you're going to have to pay, because of course, I mean, we have, for example, big corporations that have 67, 70 um, uh, uh, people, and we have people which are all uh, working from 
their kitchen table. Therefore, for every single one of you, it's going to be very different. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, show you what is required so that you can actually make your own budget. But I tell you, it's actually uh, a bootstring. It's very, very inexpensive and you will be able to actually run a profitable online business without having to really spend a lot of money. But yes, there are some expenses that you need to cover. Next, the next question that everybody tells me, oh, I find this very, very interesting and I would really like to be doing this and this and that and the other. How long is it going to take me? Well, this is a great question. And in order for me, uh, in order for me to do that, once again, as a good teacher, I have to also ask you the following question. How much success are you willing to have or do you want to have? Because first of all, you need to understand the terms ROI and ROTY. That means return on investment and return on time invested. Therefore, it's very, very important that you see this and put this into perspective. Now, let's listen to Peter uh, Drucker. Peter Drucker, which is the father of uh, uh, modern management, he says, efficiency is doing things right. Effectiveness is doing the right things. Now, a lot of people think that they're doing things right. However, possibly they're not doing the right things. And this is why many people fail on the internet. Therefore, first of all, we need to be more effective and try to be less efficient. Let me just give you one example. For example, you would like to do things right. You might like to have a logo, but you have no experience with Photoshop, right? So possibly you're going to spend 10 hours designing your logo with Photoshop. And then afterwards, you're going to have a mediocre logo with Photoshop because of course, it's not your strength. That is efficient, but it's not effective. Now, if I would actually be you, what I will do is I will outsource this, right? And I will tell them, I will give them the idea of more or less how it needs to be done. They will be able to design it in possibly two or three hours and they will give me a professional looking logo, logo back. So obviously I didn't really spend that much time. I just outsourced it. And then of course I obtained what I wanted. Therefore, it's very, very important that we need to think that we have to be effective and not efficient. Most people have absolutely no clue how to measure the different, uh, the, 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 their different initiatives on the internet. They say, well, you know, we're going to be very, uh, very efficient and we're going to be uh, spending this amount of time uh, doing social media or doing that or doing the other, but they do not know how to measure it. Therefore, what we're going to be learning throughout these uh, 120 days is how to be effective in running an online business, right? As uh, Albert Einstein says, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So now my, my point is what you're going to be doing is if you become effective, you will be able to start attracting lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of new customers. So the question is, how long is it going to take me? Well, if I'm going to promise you that you're going to be getting a ton of new business, how long would you be spending? as much as you possibly want, as much as you possibly want to grow your business. So therefore, that's the, be the very best answer that I can give you. Now, once again, I have to ask you again, does that make sense? Is that clear? Crystal clear? Yes, yes, yes. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Absolutely. Excellent. So everybody's with me. Fantastic. So let's move on. So now you know that how long will it take is the wrong question is how successful you want to be and how much are you willing to invest the more time that you invest the more successful that you will be now in order for you to be super successful what you need to do is you need to focus on your strengths because if you focus on your weaknesses exactly as i was telling you with the example from uh, from uh, um uh, Photoshop and doing the logo, you are not going to be effective. You're going to possibly be efficient, but you're not going to be effective. So now the first thing that I also want to ask you is please make sure that you focus on things that you enjoy and things that you're good at, because of course those are going to be your strengths. And those are going to be the things that you also are not going to mind spending a lot of time on. Now, mind you, one of the things that I'm also going to be offering to you while you are on these 120 days is you will have access to my entire, <coughs> sorry, outsourcing team. I'm sorry for that. You're going to be having access to my entire outsourcing team. This means that you will have my team working with you so that you will be able to actually just delegate the stuff and get things done. Now, obviously this is not for free. 
However, it's not going to be very expensive because my point is not making money on you, but helping you. So as long as you cover their expenses, I am perfectly fine. You can actually use my team uh, to your services. Okay, so now that everybody, everything is clear, we're almost finishing this presentation. I just want to make a few more points. First of all, bear in mind the following. How did you actually learn about the Internet on your own? Uh, you purchase courses, you read books, uh, you've been to seminars or webinars, you've done your own research, uh, you tried through trial and error, uh, possibly you do it in intuitively. So now let me ask you, how did you learn about the internet? So if you can actually type in your question and box, uh, in your question box, what, how did you learn about the internet? I will be very, very interested. So people are typing here. I learned on my own. I have purchased a number of cor per, uh, courses. I've spent a lot of money on courses and still not manage it. Okay, very good. Well, I have read books. Excellent. Uh, read books, read books. I have done my own research, trial and error. Uh, some people have told me I have just been modeling other people. Okay, fine. Anyway, you have had a number of different ways on how you have studied the internet. But truth is, and honestly speaking, you have not been very successful. And once again, the reason why you have not been very successful is because most of the things that you have tried, you have seen them as an isolated uh, uh, piece of a puzzle, right? But you have not really put together the entire puzzle uh, together. Also, you have been learning tactics, but you have not been learning vision and strategy. Also, what happens is that you have been uh, uh, applying stuff that only applies to Web 1.0, but nothing that applies to Web 3.0. So now you know that you have to do something about it. And this is exactly what we're going to be covering in these 120 days. Because whatever you do from right now is going to decide if you're going to continue being mediocre or if you're going to be successful. If you keep on doing what you're doing, you will keep on getting exactly what you are getting. Therefore, and I know as a matter of fact, people get stuck very easily. So if you are already part of the apprentice, don't worry about it because I will be hand, I will be you taking you by the hand. You will be getting the content, but also you will be expanding your context so that you will be able to be successful on the internet. 90% guaranteed. I don't say 100% guaranteed because, of course, part of it also depends on you. But my goal is that 90% of the people which are on this program will be successful. And guess what? After the 120 days, I can guarantee you, and this is absolutely guarantee you, that you are going to be able to transform the engine of your business from how it looks on the left to how it looks on the right. Bear in mind, most of the things that you have been learning about are tactics, which are just the tip of the, the tip of the iceberg. Now what you're going to be learning are going to be the strategy, which is are all the things which are underneath, uh, underneath the iceberg and are, going, and, and are going to be what are going to be making you successful. This is going to be for you a bridge to go into Web 3.0. We're going to be moving from where we are to, towards where the Internet is going. Now, how are we going to do this? As I've told you already, First of all, I have uh, 19 years of experience teaching. So part of it is going to be me teaching you uh, all this stuff, right? As you see, we have a system which is completely logical. There's 12 pieces and each one of the pieces is going to actually be explaining to you how everything works. It's going to happen on a weekly basis. Every week we're going to have an episode. And then, of course, you will be able to actually do every single thing. There's a logical sequence, right? I'm going to be using accelerated learning. If you noticed, I've been using a lot of stuff, which, of course, are going to help you learn a lot faster. Now, if you have never really heard about accelerated learning, let me explain to you how it works. You will be able to learn something that normally will take up to four years to learn in about 120 days. This is uh, very similar to the chicken broth cube. And this, this is a very simple. If you actually take a chicken broth uh, cube and you put it into hot water, that small cube, if you put it into hot water, can make three, four, five uh, 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 liters of, uh, of, uh, of soup, one full gallon of soup, if you're actually thinking in gallons and not in liters. So very important. This is going to be a lot of compressed information on a very accelerated way so that you will be able to master a lot of information that normally will take you a long time in a short period of time. Now, 
what I'm going to be asking for you is teamwork. I want you to make sure that you are participating, that you are helping, uh, that you are helping other people, that you are doing all sorts of things as uh, in the Facebook group, because of course that is going to be also very, very important. We're going to be needing mutual cooperation because there's different levels of people which are joining in. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to have to um, actually do things uh, uh, differently for, for each of them. What happens is the moment that the games of the rule change, everybody goes starts from the same level so it doesn't matter how much experience you have on the internet trust me what you're going to be learning during these next 120 days are going to change dramatically the way that you see stuff please make sure that you're participating in the question and answer sessions please ask me as many questions as possible because obviously that is going to be the time you have already paid me for this so please make sure that you take advantage of that and please make sure that everybody is contributing with each other because, of course, we want to make sure that everybody wins. Now, imagine the following. In 120 days, you'll know exactly how to run a successful online business. Thanks to the use of accelerated learning, you'll learn in four months what normally will take three to four years to learn. And also, the way that you look at the Internet will change forever you will be able to apply this knowledge to your business or become a highly paid online consultant. Imagine the following. For the first time in your life, you'll understand how to create multiple sources of income and multiple income streams. You'll learn how to automate your business up to 90%, plus you will learn how to delegate tasks that are not your strength. For the first time in your life, you will be able to take advantage of the leverage power the internet can provide to you and your business. So it's time now to remove all the mental barriers. It's, my, it's, it's time right now to say, well, you know, it's time to make sure that I learn how the internet works, I learn how to use the strategy, and then implement it so that I will be able to get the kind of business results that I have always been looking for. And with that, I actually finish this presentation. And guess what? Next week, we're going to be starting with our first episode, which is going to be the first piece of the puzzle. And that is going to be mindset. How to think like a successful online business person. As Gandhi says, for things to change, you have to change. It's time to start and it's time to start altering paradigms. So on your marks, get ready, go. I declared open the, the, um, uh, the first uh, online apprentice from this year, and I'm sure that you're going to really benefit tremendously from it. Now, this is the online apprentice in figures. At this point, we have 75 spots available. We have already 50 people which are already registered. We still have to do 20 casting calls. Right? We have 16 episodes that are going to be happening. We're going to be having two winners, which I will tell you who they are, how they are, and what they need to do in order to win this competition. There's going to be six masterminds, and then we're going to be having eight faculty members that I have already introduced to you. What are the benefits of being one of the apprentices? Well, very simple. First of all, the entire 120 uh, 20 days are based not in theory, but in implementation. I'm going to be making sure that you're going to be implementing, 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 implementing. So at the end of the 120 days, the implementation is going to take your business to the next level. Second, you're going to have the accountability, which is required, but not only with me, but also with the peers, also with the other competitors, which are there on the uh, competition. And last but not least, you also are going to be put into a competitive environment, which of course is going to help you take your business to the next level. Therefore, uh, this is the homework that I'm going to be requesting from you. First of all, I want you to get a binder for all the material that you will be getting. Second, I want you to participate frequently on the Facebook group, which obviously it's only available for the people which are already part of the online apprentice. If you are not part of the online apprentice, I will be telling you how you could be part of the online apprentice in a moment. Third, start using Firefox. Stop using Internet Explorer. That is not good. The, the uh, web browser that we're going to be using is Firefox. Yes, if you're using uh, Chrome is fine. Yes, if you're using uh, Opera is fine. However, the uh, uh, browser for marketing is Firefox. So make sure that you have Firefox on your uh, computer. 
Fourth, check regularly the Facebook group because, of course, absolutely every single thing happens there. I'm not going to be sending emails. Make sure that you check the, uh, the um, uh, Facebook group on a daily basis. Make sure that you actually look for the uh, links for the, uh, for the webinars, for the episodes are going to be posted there. And very important, they're going to be only posted there uh, 24 hours before. Why? Because, of course, if not, they're going to be buried amongst all the other comments. So 24 hours before every episode, make sure to check the uh, Facebook group. Next, make sure that you have the following. Please make sure that you have a YouTube channel. Make sure that you have a Pinterest account. Make sure that you have an account on Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. Discover what your cloud score is in cloud. Make sure that you check how strong your foot your uh, footprint is by checking how many results you have in Google and afterwards this is a very very important for those of you that are already on the program congratulations you're ready to change your life now if you think that this presentation was interesting and you want to be part of the online apprentice you want to be part of this incredible experience what you need to do is the following you need to have a one-on-one -on -one casting call with me so what you need to do is you, in order for you to, to uh, for me to accept you on the casting call, you are going to have to go to ernestoverdugo.com forward slash casting call, and uh, you're going to have to pay $20 for the casting call. Now, why am I asking you actually for $20? Well, first of all, $20 is hardly anything. I mean, it's something that you can pay, but that is actually putting some commitment. And then we're going to be having this presentation. Now, if you are not chosen to be a part of the uh, of the program, no problem. Guess what? I have uh, I have a program that I'm going to be giving you instead, so that you're not losing your money. You're going to be getting uh, you're going to be getting my program, which is called the uh, the uh, online uh, crash course, the internet crash course, which is worth uh, forty seven dollars. I'm going to be giving it to you. I'm going to be giving it to you if you're not selected. But very likely, you know exactly how you'll be selected. I am not looking for uh, uh, people that uh, are very techy. I'm not looking for people that have a business. I'm not looking for people that that uh, have uh, particular qualities. Let me tell you exactly what the qualities are in order for you to be selected for this. First of all, you need to be open for change. That's the first thing that I want. Second, you need to also be coachable and teachable. And third, you want to really, really, really uh, uh, um, be successful on the internet. If you have these qualities and you have seen this entire presentation, I am sure that you will have the power to actually be uh, chosen to this uh, a great reality show. Therefore, make sure to go to ernestoverdugo.com forward slash casting call. Make sure to pay you $20 and I will be in, uh, I will be in touch very, very soon so that you can actually participate on the online apprentice. Mind you, this is not a free program. It's not uh, this, this whole thing is not only for $20. Obviously, there is a price for it. And I will be telling you what the price is. It's not very high. It's not very uh, expensive. I mean, it's not $2,000, $3,000, uh, whatever it is. It's not something like that. There is a price. There is a, there's definitely a, a cost for it. I will not tell you what it is because, of course, first of all, I want to find out uh, what, you're, uh, what, what, what you want to accomplish, what you want to achieve. Therefore, yes, there is a cost, but I will make sure that we talk about it so that you will be able to be part of this program. So now, uh, if you're actually saying, well, I would like to do it, but I do not know if I have the time. Let me just tell you, this is the right time to do it, because, of course, the question that most people ask me is, when are you going to be running this again? Well, truth is, I don't know. This takes a lot of effort. And uh, it takes a lot of time. Therefore, I do not know when I'm going to be running this again. So please make sure to, uh, uh, if you think that this is going to be something interesting for you, take action and give me, uh, uh, give me a call. Let's, let's make sure that we connect. So once again, if you are part of this program, great. If you are not part of this program yet, make sure to uh, uh, go to ernestoverdugo.com forward slash casting call. And then uh, pay your $20, we will get connected, we will have the opportunity to talk. If you think that the conditions are great and I think that you're a match for the program, I will let you join. And if not, you will be getting my uh, online crash course uh, uh, so that you will actually not be losing your $20. So, of course, it's a win-win, it's a no-brainer, and I think it's something that is going to really, really be um, 
uh, helping you. So on that note, once again, I recommend you to go to ernestoverdugo.com forward slash casting call if you're not part of the program. Now you saw that this is very powerful and I'm sure that you're going to benefit tremendously. Thank you very much for being part of episode zero of the program, uh, the, the, uh, the Online Apprentice, and I look forward to hearing from you very, very soon. Take care and bye-bye.